Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2024. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. Without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. Well, this month's new moon takes place on the 10th of the month, and it is a new moon in a deeply consequential part of your sky having to do with profound change, profound truth, having to do with your understanding of regeneration and whatever transformative process you might be undertaking now. This is a new moon, so it brings with it new opportunities. Now, also possible here that you might be going into some financial agreements or even just trying to access funding and resources, things like grants and loans and credit cards and benefits you might qualify for. This new moon is beautifully speaking with Uranus. I find that incredibly encouraging. And it's speaking with Uranus with precision. That means that there's an element here of things moving very quickly, feeling very delightful, feeling very hopeful. There's an element here of change happening very quickly as well. And so if it is that you're trying to access resources, especially around this new moon, that could come together very quickly. It could be now that you have that proverbial light bulb moment where you have a realization and it serves as this profound catalyst for change in your life. It could be at this moment that you are having personal realizations, but it might also be now that you decide to begin to undergo a process of transformation meaningful to you. If you have any kind of surgery planned at this time, because this part of the sky does have to do with surgery as well, Um, that is very hopeful under this sky. I do like Uranus speaking in harmony here because it suggests skill uh, and the procedure moving very quickly, but then also the healing happening very quickly as well. However, there is one thing to be mindful of, and that is that Neptune isn't too far away from this new moon. And what that means is inflated expectations Um, not seeing the details, not seeing things as clearly as might actually be a good idea. And so if you are going into a financial agreement or you're accessing resources, make sure you're checking out what the interest rates, for example, actually are, what the terms actually entail. If you're undergoing a transformative process of any kind now or beginning one, uh, you may not have all the details uh, laid out just yet or may not be appreciating what it might actually require. And yet with faith, just about anything feels possible to you. And this energy can feel near miraculous, uh, especially where it comes to those personal processes that uh, having a new moon like this can actually be really helpful with. Stay open to the healing vibes here. Stay open to the spiritual vibes uh, to experience the healing potential, but also the potential to see yourself with compassion, to see what needs to change with compassion as well as part of navigating this new moon, new beginning energy. Navigating forward, it will be on the 25th of the month that we will have not your ordinary full moon, but this is what I like to call a jacked up full moon. And what makes it a jacked up full moon is that it is a lunar eclipse. That's what we're going to have, a lunar eclipse. So that's going to open up a portal uh, that's called eclipse season. And this is what the ancients believed was a time when the veils between the worlds were especially thin. It becomes that much easier to access wisdom, to see your spiritual lessons playing out. Um, And that wisdom or that insight into your lessons might be an understanding of your spirit guides, of your ancestors, might be your own consciousness, your own higher consciousness that feels that much more uh, able to access at this time. Having said that, that two-week portal does begin on the 25th. It's going to take us into April when we will have a solar eclipse, and I'll be here to talk about that every step of the way. But for now, this lunar eclipse is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with conversation, communication, siblings, cousins, neighbors. Um, It has to do with your neighborhood, your local community, getting out into the world in some way, Uh, especially locally, running your own errands. That's the kind of stuff we have here. But this is also part of the sky that has to do with synchronicity, 
being in the right place at the right time, connecting with the right person, and it can just make all the difference for you now. And by all the difference, it's actually a really great difference. And that is because this eclipse is going to speak in supreme harmony with Pluto. I love this energy for you, I have to say. This energy is meaningful. It is heartwarming. It is elating. And this is energy that does invite a measure of understanding and insight, yes. But it's also an energy that just puts you in the right place, whether it's the right time, the right person means uh, opportunity, means professional growth, but it could just mean the world feeling more open to you, a spirit of adventure, feeling like you have the right conversation at the right time. Now, this lunar eclipse might also bring a fortunate closure uh, to a matter having to do with your sibling, cousin, or neighbor. Um, and it could be now that especially the neighbor might move away, for example. So there are changes transpiring there. And it may or may not have anything directly to do with you. Perhaps it's just in their life and you're very happy for them. But in some way, it's going to change things for you as well. If you have wanted uh, to go on a learning journey or you've been involved in a learning journey, uh, and this is very much about learning new skills, uh, maybe teaching yourself, I think this can be a moment that ends up being very important and, and a breakthrough of sorts for you now. Pluto in your opposite sign, uh, that has to do with one-on-one -on -one alliances. So you will find the right alliances are there for you as part of helping you to transform what's happening in a more immediate sense in that more personal environment now, in your local community now. And it is through those alliances that you end up seeing and understanding yourself so differently. Uh, I think one of the most likely scenarios with this is you being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, gives you a chance to talk. It's almost like you have stuff that you need to say that you want to talk out and you get that chance to do it very synchronistically. And as a result, you feel changed. You feel like something's shifted for the better. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I mentioned uh, the new moon already that happens on the 10th. The following day, Venus moves into the same part of the sky. Uh, in addition to what I mentioned, this part of the sky also has to do with intimacy and vulnerability and authentic connections you make with others. With important energy here, like Venus here, for example, the goddess of love, but also that new moon. Um, if you don't feel a connection, it just isn't going to matter to you. It just isn't meaningful to you. And so there's a desire for authenticity there. But it is now connecting with another, being vulnerable to another, that can serve as a powerful catalyst for you. The fact that we get that eclipse trying Pluto, and Pluto is in your opposite sign, that is huge because it is partnerships that are being lit up here and conversations with partners or synchronistic moments with potential partners uh, could be part of what awakens the spirit of transformation and change for you now. For those of you open to meeting someone new, um, I think it's very likely that you're going to connect with someone and it's just going to feel like this powerful pull towards this other person, the kind that feels very hard to resist. Um, it's up to you to decide what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances. There could be some real complicating factors there uh, that are very evident. And so again, it is your decision to decide how much you're going to engage. For all that though, you're also looking at your own motivations, your own desires, uh, and might decide to consider what that's going to mean in terms of the types of people you go about wanting to meet uh, going forward from here. For those of you just starting to date someone, what powerful energies we have playing out here in the context of dating. Uh, it's an energy of truth. It's an energy of really looking at how you feel about this person. An increase of intimacy, very likely now. Having said that, Either you're going to be all in and really meshed with this person that much more, or you really are going to realize this is not the person for you. You will know, you will have that understanding, and especially under the light of the new moon and with Venus, it's going to be very clear. 
uh, I want you to keep in mind that um, it is about 10 days after Venus changes signs that we get Venus meeting Saturn in the sky. Now, that is a huge moment of truth that could change your direction, that can either move the two of you towards this solid sense of commitment, or it can have you realizing that this really isn't it going another way. It's a very all or nothing moment here. And for those of you in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be. In the context of established bonds, well, there's energy here of intimacy, of honesty, of vulnerability. Um, where the relationship is good, this new moon is going to accelerate that sense of them growing stronger. There's a sense of excitement now for how much closer you feel with each other very quickly. Um, but there's also this sense of being that much more deeply connected that can be very heartwarming. For that very small percentage of Leos out there, if you have felt for a while that maybe you're not in the right relationship for you, this is an all or nothing moment. A huge turning point moment is set to take place with a month like this. Um, of course, we're looking at around the 20th or 21st, depending on where you are on the planet, Venus meeting Saturn. That ends up being the turning point moment, but you may need the month really, or the last three weeks of the month, I should say, to really understand what you're feeling and what you're wanting, especially if it is that you're gaining clarity into going a whole other way. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say, I love... Uh, the energy of the uh, lunar eclipse. I think that is so powerful. It's speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto. That is powerfully transformative. And I would not be surprised if you got like a, a letter or an email that just felt life-changing to you in some way, or you received information, you received news that felt like it served as a catalyst towards even more profound change in your life. It's your one-on-one -on -one alliances now that might be the conduit of delivering the information, but it's always up to you to decide what you're going to do with it. And with energy like this, where it is that it feels right, where it is that it feels like the truth, you accepting it and following up with action can lead to powerful change. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have you checked out NadiaShawSuperstars.com? It is in that superstar space that you can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate. These are exclusive, expanded horoscopes and higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events consultations with me and so much more a live exclusive monthly event for all superstars and so much more all of this in the superstar space at nadiashawsuperstars.com links are in the description below thank you again for watching it'll be a great month enjoy